Good evening, good evening. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Roxana Wilder. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. I can see William here. Thanks for activating your camera, William. I am here, teacher. Pretty good. Thanks for activating your camera. Let's wait a little bit because we need to have everybody or the majority of the participants in the class. Uh, I can see Stephanie, Roxana, uh, I can see Chancy, Carla, Gwilder, Stephanie, Emma, uh, well, People are just getting into the class. That's really good. Ana Garcia is there. Very good, Ana Garcia. I can see you. You are walking. I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> you seem to be very happy tonight. <laughs> okay, very good. I can see Rosa there. Welcome. Okay, people, remember to activate your camera. It's important. It's quite important. Well, let me see. I have 12 people connected in. I will check list attendance. So we have to work a little bit about some information that I have here. But before getting to that part, we need to check list attendance. You are 28 people and let's see, let's see what's coming now. Abigail? ¿Qué? Hello, Abigail, are you there? Hola. Abigail, hello. Okay, say hello, right? Ana Maria Garcia. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Ana Maria Emily. Carlos David. Daniel Alejandra. Diana Saraí. Present teacher. Good. Emma. Okay. Okay, Emma. Emma. Eva. Eva Margarita. Gabriela Lisset. Present. Jacqueline Janet. Present teacher. Joana Guadalupe. Carla Olivia. Present. Okay, Carla Olivia. And let me see. Uh, Melissa Giselle. Present. Raul Alexander. Hello, Raul. Raul, are you there? Rosa Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Zaira. Sara Vanessa. No. no Silvia Noemi. Gracias. Silvia Noemi, Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Swanee. Ah, uh, no, pues no, pues son normales. Wilder. Yeah, present teacher. Right, William Vladimir. Present. William Alfredo. Jansi. 
Present teacher. And Jenny. Jenny Guadalupe. Okay, don't worry. Okay, this is this is the first time I check list attendance and we try to do it at the end. It's uh, very important, right? The attendance. Attendance quite important. Let me see. I have 18 people and Anna Guevara said good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Anna Guevara. Good evening. Right? Good evening. <laughs> Okay, so Ana Guevara is right here. Mm, well, don't worry, I will check list attendance once again at the end. But, uh, you know, it's uh, really important for you to be on time in the class and to participate actively uh, at all moments, okay? So, well, I have a lot of work to do tonight. We have a lot of work to do tonight and uh, we're going to going to get there as soon as possible by presenting the information that's in the platform. Hey, I will share two links, okay, because, yeah, sorry, there is not the info I needed to share. Now, yes. Okay, the platform. Uh, William Alfred says, good, good evening. Uh, it's a present teacher. Okay, good. Good. I will check it later. Don't worry. Don't worry. William, Okay, William. I will check it at the end. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, yesterday we were talking about prepositions of place. And we were talking about how to give directions in English. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we had some problems because it was raining uh, heavily. Um, but we could we could finish the, the the class pretty well. Okay, and tonight we are gonna continue talking about how to give directions in English. But tonight you're gonna be in church of uh in church of uh, creating something in English because uh the objective for tonight is to learn how to ask for and give directions in English. Additionally, well, you are gonna be in charge of practicing some conversations, which illustrate how this topic is just in real life settings. So in order for you to be, or to get familiarized with, with the topic, we're gonna see the following video, where you are going to be exposed to listen to very, very basic expressions in English for, giving and asking for directions. So do me the favor to listen to and repeat uh, some expressions that you consider are really important. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. 
Now, one question. I saw something in the chat. Now, you, you're not able to see the information? Can you see the information, people? No, teacher. No, but you listen to it? Yes, I listen, yes. But but you don't see the info. Well, I will try. I will try once again. Give me a second. I don't know what happened, but don't worry. I will try it again. Can you can you see the info now? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. So something happened. I don't know. But well, then we're gonna we're gonna get back to the conversation, which is um the example, right? An example on how to give directions, and uh, we, we are so that we can see the the whole info here. You help me. How do I get to Saint Pat? Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to Saint Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Listen to those expressions. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Go up, walk turn up. Turn left on turn 49th left. Street. It's on the right. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? How can I get to walk Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Park. Go down Fifth Avenue. What down? Go Turn down. Turn right on Forty Second Street. Turn right. It's on the left. It's on the left. It's oh, on yes. the left. Let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up. Go up. Walk up. Walk. Down, go up, go, go up, up, walk down, turn left go on, down. turn right on, turn left on the right, on. on the left, turn right. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. You may now, use that info later. Expressions. Walk up, or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or okay. go up Fifth Avenue. Uh, Walk up, go up. Now let's pretend that go we up are Fifth Avenue. Fifth yeah. Avenue. Well, up, go and up. Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Mm -hmm. The question would be, how question. do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? St. Patrick's. Go up Fifth Avenue. The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue. Walk up, go up Madison. Madison Avenue. Go up. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Look at and this we one. We want to get to New York Public Library. No, it's the opposite, the right? Question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? How do I get or to New York Public how Library? Can I get to how can I get to New, New York, York Public York. Library? Up. First instruction would be go, go down. down. Go down. No, it's the, the opposite. Or go down. Fifth go Avenue. down. So what is the Walk next step down. to get to Bahar. public library? For that, we will use the vocabulary. Turn right. Turn on, right. Or turn left. Turn on, left. Depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right 
on 42nd Street. Mm -hmm. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, so we have the first example, right? Remember tonight you are going to create something in English. Now, I will share <clears throat> some links. This is link number one in the chat because it's going to be useful for you to see the information there. Link number two. So we only have two links for tonight. And they are going to be in the chat. Look at the chat. So you have two links there. In the first link, we have some expressions that are very useful to ask for or to give directions in English. So you see, we have a lot of information in here. And if you go and click somewhere else, then you are going to get some more information to talk about directions in English. So when asking for and giving directions in English, we can encounter a vast or a lot of expressions that we can use. For example, excuse me, can you tell me the way to the museum? Excuse me, how do I get to the bus office? Pardon me, I'm lost. Uh, how do I get to the cafe? Please tell me how I get to your apartment. Excuse me. Is there a hospital near here? Well, so you have a lot of expressions that you can use in order to ask for uh, location of, or for asking, or when asking for directions in English. So as you can see, we have like 55 expressions to ask for directions. How do I find a Thai restaurant? May I ask you how to get to the center? May I ask for some help? I need to get the CN Tower. Would you show me the way to the clothes shop? So you see, like, we have 55 expressions that you can use. Now, when giving directions, then you say, it's a way, it's that way, you are going the wrong way, the wrong way, you are going in the wrong direction. Take the first left, take the, the second right. Turn right at the crossroad, etc. So you have also a lot of uh, expressions right there. How far is it? Well, you have some more expressions like, it's not far from here. Is it a long way a among others? So you have a lot of work here, a lot of expressions to learn. Now, the second one, which is the one that we are gonna use tonight is about a conversation. Well, you will see some expressions, but we're gonna go directly to conversation. Number one, practice dialogue, taking the subway. So there's a dialogue there. The other dialogue, dialogue number two is taking directions over the telephone. Dialogue number three is practice the dialogue on directions to the museum. And I think there is another one, practice dialogue directions to a supermarket. So what are we gonna do, people, in order to take advantage of time? So you see, time goes so fast. I will, I will tell you in a very clear way so that we can start working. I will I will make a parenthesis, right? So, vamos a trabajar en uh, grupo de tres para que practiquen cualquiera de las cuatro conversaciones que están en el, en el enlace que les compartí. Asegúrense de que lo, lo pronuncian bien y que ya lo practican. ¿Ok? Uh, si alguien le quiere añadir algunas expresiones, pueden hacerlo. Como, por ejemplo, las que les compartí en el otro enlace. Si le quieren variar algo a la conversación. Si no, la dejan tal cual como está y la practican. ¿Cuánto tiempo van a tener para practicarlo? 20 minutos. Después de esos 20 minutos, 
Vamos a regresar a la sesión general y voy a pedirles que lo puedan decir de la mejor manera, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, okay. So, los 20 minutos voy a tratar que sean exactos, de modo que ustedes también pueden estar pendientes del tiempo y que no hayan eh, contratiempo, ¿verdad? Que aprovechemos eh, los 20 minutos al máximo. Give me a second. So we have 20, 19 people. Mm. So we create the groups now. Yo me voy a meter a algunos grupos para estar verificando la manera como están trabajando. Y estar verificando que todo marche bien. So we have 19. Las conversaciones están en el chat, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí está el enlace. Mira. Ok, ¿estás listo? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, aquí vamos. See you soon. 20 minutos. ¿Qué lograron ingresar? Estoy tratando de ingresar yo, permítame un segundito. Sí, yo ya, Jacqueline. Taking the subway es una de ellas, ¿verdad? Hola. Espérame. Um, Porque son las conversaciones las que vamos a, a, a practicar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. En el segundo link me aparecieron a mí. Dice Practice Dialogue, Taking the Subway. Y luego está Taking Direction Over the Telephone. Y Directions to the Museum. Directions to a Supermarket. Yo creo que esas son los cuatro, los cuatro diálogos. Uno, dos, tres. Sí, esos son. Ya logró entrar, William.
¿Y usted ya, Kelly? Ahorita estoy, pero me está costando que me cargue. Solo veo una imagen donde aparecen cuatro conversaciones, pero no tiene título. Ah. Vaya, una es de la de taking the subway. Dice, Linda, do you know how to get to send, to send some in co? En company, me imagino, ¿verdad? I never, I, I never, I never been there before. Me sale esa. Lo que tenemos que hacer es practicar las conversaciones, ¿verdad? En los puede, diálogos. Tomarle, puede tomarle una captura y enviarla de un solo. Que no me carga. Espérenme que lo mi teléfono. Igual estoy yo, tengo dificultades, no me carga. Vaya, espérenme, quiero ver. Ahorita, ahorita. Me estoy poniendo nervioso. Ahorita veo, ahorita veo, permítanme. De estos días. ¿Cómo? Sí, no, que no, 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 Leo. Hi. Hello. Hello. En el primer enlace ya aparece ahí table of content. Pero espérame ahorita. Asking for and giving direction in English. No sé si eso le sale. Me como una página de Google. Le voy a tomar, le voy a tomar una fotografía porque no puedo. No quiero ver, pero... Ah, ah porque ya le vi practice ya lo que está Ya les cargo. Ya les cargo. Sí, sí. sí. Ay, bye. Ay, que yo no pude. Bye. Taking okay. the subway. Ajá, taking the subway. Bye. Esa Entonces, hacemos. vaya, oh. practiquémosla. Practiquemos. Ajá. Vaya. Eh. Okay. Mi turno. Hola. Hola. ¿Con quién? Se le escucha un poco bajo, no sé si a Emma. Ah. No sé quién me va a ayudar. Ya no puedo la gran cosa, pero... Bueno, eh... Empiezo yo. Te regreso. Sí. Carga, es perfecto. Es que muy chiquita la letra. Sí, bien pequeñita. Imagínese usted que está joven y yo que ya estoy mayor. Ay, sin, ay, no, sin, no, los no. Lentes, no, sin los ¿Sí? lentes no miro. Sin los lentes no miro. Ay, no. Y no me carga. Ajá, porque más abajito dice. Conversecho número uno y está también este Janet y Mike y dicen unas cuatro 
Ajá. Y luego dice que está otra conversación también. Oh. Ah, fíjese que más abajo sí se mira. Ajá. Okay. Ahorita voy a meterme de nuevo porque me salí porque no me cargaba. Ajá. Sí, aquí sí ya se puede distinguir. Va. Aquí estoy intentándolo de nuevo. Va. Ay, disculpe, ¿qué? No, que a mí también me ha costado encontrar esto. Sí, como pues lo hemos estado haciendo bien diferente, ¿verdad? Entonces no, no nos esperábamos. Sí. Hoy sí. Ya, yo casi. Dice, ¿qué es lo que le sale a usted? Primero me salen como conversaciones solo con solo el nombre y el, este, la, la, la estrofa, ¿verdad? Pero más abajito sí, sí. ya me sale la imagen de arriba solo en, en, en dos conversaciones que se logra distinguir mejor. Siempre en la ¿Solo imagen. Letras es? No, con dibujitos también, pero después de pasar un montón de letras. Oh, ya, ya. Entonces aquí estoy pasando ya la letra. Sí, esta letra Ajá. sí ya está más grande. Sí, está más grande. Así ya, ya se logra ver. Sí. sí es bastante la, la información. Sí. Y es que me, a mí me, no sé si era el teléfono, pero me cuesta que me cargue. Sí, como acuérdense que como varios en la misma link, ha de estar como saturado. Sí, este, pero ¿qué estoy pasando? No me salen así dibujitos, fíjense, ya pasé bastante. De veras, pero a mí sí. ¿Será que no estoy en el mismo, en, en el primer, en el primer enlace se metió usted? Sí, en el primero. Sí. Sí, fíjese que aquí no las conversaciones. Jurón, Portry Street. It's not far, maybe about two, 200 yards. Okay, great. I, is there anything special you want? No, just the usual. Well, if you could get uh, some beer, that would be great. Okay, just this once. Hoy la otra compañera. Yes, yeah, Silvia, are you ready? Yes. Eh, sí. Si usa, son cuatro, hacemos dos con... Yo creo que solo es... Ya. Sí. No, pasado pasado los 20. Uh -huh. <ríe> yo, yo. No. ¿Y esta sí se pronuncia así? ¿Cuál? ¿Esta? Dígamelo. ¿El third? Ah, a third. La 83. Ajá. Sí, a third. Yo creo que así va. Third 14. Just a moment to let me write this down. Down. También, o oh, cuando, cuando unimos el, el, en la primera. Cuando dice John, Linda, do you know how to get to Samsung's and Coat? I love, ahí sí, es la pronunciación. I, I love, porque es I will o algo así va. I, I will, be. I love never been there before. I never. Uy, todavía no. Ahí se lo acabo de mandar ahorita. Ah, ok, ya lo tengo. 
ಮತ್ತೆ ವಕೀಲ ya tengo el otro que eh, no sé con cuál empezamos quiero ver está cargando Driving direction. Diálogo. No, yo creo que solo son expresiones, creo. Ah, bueno. Entonces, empecemos por una expresión cada uno, si quieren. Ajá, así podemos eh, ir. Así. Bueno. Ajá, quiero ver. Asking for and giving direction in English. Asking for directions. Eh, voy, a, voy a empezar yo con esta. Y llego hasta la... Uy, si son 30 y cuenta, pero... Sí, sí, son un montón. Solo que digamos cinco cada uno para empezar o menos. Ok, ok, va, va. Voy a contar con la primera yo, pues. Ahorita con la... ¿Cinco, entonces? Sí, digo yo, no sé qué piensa la vale. compañera. Vaya, vale, vaya, vale. ¿quién empieza ahí? No hay problema. Vaya, está bien. Okay. Excuse me, can't you tell me if you are working in your class? Excuse me, how to Hola, hola. You? Hola, me escucha. Sí, 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 ahora, hoy sí, sí. Ah, ok. Voy a volver a la sala. Ok. To the museum? To. Excuse me. How do you, how do I get to the post office? Three, pardon me, I lost, how do I get to the cafe? Se nos acabó el tiempo, chicas. Qué rápido. Sí, bueno, bye bye. ¿Y aquí cómo hacemos para volver? El solito nos va a direccionar. No le escucho, Alex. Oh, sorry, había apagado mi micrófono. Es, es, a mí me había parecido que ya teníamos segundos nada más. Eh, pero aquí yo creo que donde dice abandonar, se sale y automáticamente lo mete a la sala de nuevo. Es que yo cerré la ventana que se abrió porque no sabía qué era. <risa> ah, pues sí. Intentemos ahí. Hello, hello, everybody. I saw you... Uh, practice and uh, it was really really interesting it was really nice to see you there practicing English and well we're gonna see the, the results right we're gonna see the results vamos a ver los resultados de esa práctica vi que algunos estaban buscando pronunciación otros estaban eh, practicando directamente la, la, la el diálogo y ahorita pues nos vamos a encontrar con los resultados. Ok, vamos a ver cuánto le sacamos de provecho a esos 20 minutos. Ok, give me a second, please. So I will, I will, I will call you in order. So the first group I have here is Jacqueline, Roxana, and William. Ok. Ok, go ahead. Repeat. 
Ya, yeah. Jacqueline, Roxana, and William. That's the first group. Hello, teacher. Hello, William. Hay que practicar. Yes. Ahorita ya lo van a, lo van a decir, lo que Pero... practicaron. Pero no, no, no escucho a las otras dos colegas. Oh, let me see. That's Jack here, Kenny. Okay, they are they are here. Okay. Eh, the, taking the subway, compañero, si gusta. Sí, pero Permítame. es que a mí me el, el la pantalla me tiene tapado el diálogo. Me estoy, in, in, ¿Aquí? estoy ingresando no, de nuevo porque no. me chocó. Bueno. Ajá, vaya, ahora ya. Quiero ver. Ah, si pero... gusta, ganos allí porque estoy ingresando de nuevo. Sí, a mí se me... Ah, no puedo ver el diálogo. Ay. Ah, ahorita. A ver. ¿Cuál vamos a, a decir? El de Subway. Sí, el Subway. Vaya. O, ¿Quién comienza? <ríe> Com Linda, bueno, comience. Ok. Linda, do you know how to get to Samsung and Co? I've never been there before. Are you driving or mm. taking the Subway? The Subway. Take the blue line from... 14 Avenue and change to the gray line at Andrew Square. Get off at 8th Street. Just a moment. Let me write this down. Take the blue line from 14th Avenue and change to the gray line at Andrew Square. Get off at 8th Street. Got it? Yes, thanks. Now, once I get to Andrew Square, how do I proceed? Once you are on 8th Street, go straight past the bank, take the second left, and continue going straight. It's across the street from Jack's Bar. Can you repeat that? Once you are on 8th Street, go straight past the bank, take the second left and continue going straight. It's across the street from Jack's Bar. Thanks, Linda. How long does it take to get there? It takes about, about half hour. When is your meeting? It's at 10 a.m. or leave at 9.30. That's a busy time. You should leave at 9. Okay, thanks, Linda. Not at all. Fantastic. Um, hay, que, hay que seguir con el otro diálogo, teacher. No, it's enough. It, it, it's enough, Roxana. Tomorrow, you will see. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with the practice. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. Now, okay. group number two. Emma, Carla, and William. William Alfredo. Uh, William, yeah, William Mejia. Ah, ok. Sí, es que yo estaba en, con las compañeras que ya pasaron. Ah, ok. Ah. Very good. So, Emma, Carla, y William Mejía. Hello. Ok, hello. Hello. <laughs> eh... <clears throat> Empiezo yo si gusta. Sí. Direction to the museum. I'm sorry. What? Um, direction to the museum. 
Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, can you hear me? I am lost. Is certainly where would you like to go? It's like to go to the museum, but I can't find it. Is it poor? No, I'm not really. It's about a five minute walk. Maybe I should call a taxi. No, it's very easy. I will really appoint it. I can give you direction. Thank you. That's very keen of you. Not at all. No. Go along this street to the traffic light. Do you see anything? Yes, I can see them. Right. At the traffic light, turn left into Queen Mary Ave. Queen Mary Ave? Right. Go straight. Take the second left and enter mu museum drive. Okay, Queen Mary Ave, a straight on and the dear left museum drive. No, it's the second left. Ah, right. The second street on my left. Right. Just follow M Museum Drive at the M museum is at the end of the world. Great. Thanks again for your help. Not at all. Not at all. All right. Thank you. That was really nice. Okay. Later, I will provide some feedback on the per performance. Group number three, Ana Guevara, Elizabeth and Chancy. Perdón, perdón, teacher, nosotros no logramos, no logramos eh, practicar. Ah, uh, okay, it's all right, it's all right because tomorrow we will continue. You will have time, okay? Thanks. Uh, well, then we're gonna listen to. Uh, we're gonna make a pause here. Okay, vamos a hacer una pausa. Uh, well, tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna continue, right? Recuérdense, mañana tenemos programado el midterm. Eso quiere decir que para el día de mañana ya todos tienen que haber completado su examen de medio curso. Ahorita vamos a la segunda semana, ¿verdad? Um, vamos a tener ese repaso, pero antes de llegar a ello, vamos a continuar con las conversaciones. Um, quizás, no sé si habían hecho este tipo de actividad antes, o se les dificultó un poco. Uh, uh, honestamente, a mí se me dificultó bastante, porque eh, primero de, de, eh, recibo la clase en el teléfono, entonces me, se me congelaba, no me cargaba, y me perdí, me perdí, la verdad. La verdad okay. que le quité tiempo a la compañera. Cuando, cuando suceda eso, busquemos la, la, el plan B, que, que tenemos por ahí el WhatsApp, por alguna, alguna situación, ya los compañeros pues coordinan y dicen, bueno, hagamos la conversación tal. Y ya este, se queda practicando a, de tal modo de que cuando ingresemos de nuevo a la sesión general, ya todos estemos listos. Okay. Porque al, algunas veces da, da problemas, ¿verdad? Cuando, cuando se hacen los grupos, pero eh, algunas veces por conexión de internet o algún otro tipo de problema o, o falla técnica. No se preocupen porque algunas veces... Bueno, ayer me sucedió, si, si, si mal no recuerdo, que estaba viviendo muy, muy recio y se me quedaba la pantalla eh, inmóvil. Um, so, tomorrow, mañana tenemos esa, esa actividad del midterm. O sea, vamos a tener un repaso. No es que allí lo vamos a desarrollar, ¿verdad? Pero, como les decía antes de eso, la conversación. Ahora, observaciones de la conversación o de, de, las, de, la, de los compañeros que han este, participado lo hicieron muy bien 
eh, vi que estuvieron investigando pronunciación de palabras, otros estaban, eh, se fueron directamente a la conversación, ya cuando encontraban algo que no estaban seguros, buscaban en la web, y eso es justamente lo que yo necesito que ustedes vayan aprendiendo, que cada vez que nos encontremos con una duda, que vayamos y la verifiquemos de alguna manera, sea la web, sea un diccionario, pero que tomemos ese hábito de ir como verificando pronunciación. Algunos, por lo menos, decían, para decir mía, dicen mil, otros dicen mile. Bueno, entonces, ¿cuál será la correcta? Ah, Miles. Me voy, correcto, me voy, a, me voy a la red y la red no, no me va a mentir, ¿verdad? Me lo va a aclarar muy bien cuál es la pronunciación. Entonces, ese es un medio. Y ya luego lo integro a, a la práctica. Eh, otra cosa que quiero que se refleje el día de mañana es la fluidez. Sé que están en básico 3, pero eh, van a tener un poco de tiempo para practicarlo. Practicarlo de tal manera que se oiga natural esa conversación. Muy natural. Natural implica buena pronunciación y que vaya con uh, una fluidez adecuada, ¿ok? Uh, haciendo las pausas adecuadas uh, o pues no deteniéndose mucho cuando, cuando la, 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 la digan acá el día de mañana. Uh, no sé si hay preguntas, no hay preguntas. O dudas o algún comentario, perdón, mientras ustedes, pues, piensan un poquito en qué podríamos eh, discutir respecto a mañana, yo voy a pasar la lista. Fíjese, teacher, que yo tengo la duda en cómo se pronunciaba eh, 83. Eh, yo decía. Hey, ser, pero no sé si era, era lo correcto. 83. 83. Ajá. Ah, muy bien. Gracias. Sí, ese, eh, eh, estos ejercicios son muy, muy, bueno, yo los encuentro muy valiosos porque pues nos encontramos con que, que hay números allí envueltos en la situación, que hay este cierto vocabulario que nos pone a pensar y nos pone a investigar, ¿verdad? Eso, uh -huh. eso es muy bueno. Veamos. Uh -huh. a, Abigail Elizabeth. Ana María. Ana, Ana María ¿Sí? Emily. Presente, sí. Carlos David. Presente. Okay, Carlos David. Eh, Daniel Alejandra. Diana Saray. Present teacher. Emma. Eva Margarita. Gabriela Lisset. Present. Jacqueline Janet. Joana Guadalupe. Joana. Carla Olivia. Present teacher. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raúl Alexander. Present teacher. Ra okay, Raúl Alexander. Give me a second, Raúl. Good. Uh, Rosa Elizabeth. I here. Good. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Zaira Abigail, Sara Vanessa, Silvia Noemi, present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie Carolina, present teacher. Okay, Stephanie, okay, Swanny, Wilder. Present teacher. William Vladimir. Present. William Alfredo. John C. 
Present. And Jenny Guadalupe. Okay, so that's it. A mí no me mencionó, teacher, Rosa Feliciana Argueta. Feliciana, give me a second. Yeah, Rosa Feliciana Argueta, okay? Thank you, Rosa. So, I hope you get ready for tomorrow. Ok, los quiero listos para el día de mañana. Vamos a iniciar con conversaciones, ok? Y ahora pronto nos movemos al midterm. Algunos de ustedes me van a ayudar a completar ese midterm. Eh, así que estudien. Y eh, eh, be ready for tomorrow. So, let me see in the chat. There are some. Ok, Rosa Feliciana en, en Sara Abigail. Ok, Sara Abigail. Zaira. Sorry, Zaira. I don't know why I called you Zaira. It's because I have Sara Vanessa here. Y que están juntitas. Esta Sara y esta Zaira. Okay, so but that's my fault. I'm sorry, Zaira. So, uh, I think it's been enough. Let us see tomorrow, people. Have a good night. Study. And God bless you. Okay. Okay. And teachers. See you tomorrow. I'll see, see you. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Say good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Uh, let me see, Chancy. Chancy, the conversations, right? So, voy a compartir el enlace nuevamente, Chancy. Donde están las, las conversaciones. Okay. Ahí está. Por ahí lo tiene. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. I see you.